Hey everyone, Sponge Murphy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I painted not one of the Cruel Boys Killer Bass, but both Killer Bosses from the Dominion Starter Set. Well, we're finally down to the final two models of the Cruel Boys, and what better way to finish the army than by painting both Killer Bosses? Starting off with Auric Flesh, two layers were applied to the skin. I was going to go with a darker green for one of them, but the auric flesh colour was just too nice of a colour not to use on both of them. With the layers dry and shaded with Antonian Camo Shade, I went with an Augurin Camo layer to brighten up the skin. With the skin finished, I went with Baneblade Brown to start the robes. That was followed by a paint that I found myself using a lot more lately, and that's Gullum and Flesh and it gives it an almost leather effect on the robes. Once dried, I went back to Bane Blade Brown to highlight the edges and the highest parts. For the stitches, I carefully went with Screaming Skull along each stitch, followed by a shade of Caribou Crimson to help it blend into the robes. Next up was the armour parts and any metallic parts like weapons and small metal parts around the models. The armour was split between Lead Belcher and Rune Lord Brass. When dry, they were shaded with Null and Oil Shade. The final touch was a highlight to both silver and brass parts of Sarmhole Silver. With a good chunk of the work done, it was time to move on to the smaller parts with the ropes around the body, the Nash Tooth and other various parts. This was painted with Rackhart Flesh. I used Agrax Earthshade to darken the ropes followed by a highlight of Screaming Skull and a dry brush on the bigger parts of the Nash Tooth. Up next was the red parts, focusing mostly on the shields. Based with two layers of corn red and shaded with Agrax Earthshade, they were highlighted back up with Wazdaka red on the edges and on the shield's facial features. The wooden parts were up next like the wooden poles and the wooden part of the saddle painted with Mornfang Brown. Good old Agrax Earthshade was then used to shade the colour down a bit. With all that done, the only thing left to do was the Nash Tooth itself. I started off with multiple layers of thin down Slanesh Grey. Once dried, I then applied two thin layers of cardboard crimson, making sure to spread it out as best I could to prevent pooling. Once all dry, I went back to Slanesh Grey to finish off the skin and I dry brushed it all over it. I went back to the marking on its left side and filled in the recesses a little bit more with cardboard crimson to make it stand out a bit. For the tail and the hair, I went with Dark Reaper and covered the tip of the tail skin with it also. While that was drying, I painted the nails and teeth with Ushapti Bone. Once dry, the areas were shaded with Agrax Earthshade. The few parts left were the Kilobosh trophies, and they were all based with Rackard flesh. Starting with the two on the top, they were shaded with Gulliman flesh. The two on the bottom were shaded with Caribou Crimson. 
and the final few were shaded with Antonian camo shade. With that, both models are finally finished. And it took a while to get both of these guys painted up, but I'm really happy how it turned out. I was a little nervous when finally getting around to painting the Nash Tooth uh, Killer Boss because he's now the army's centerpiece and I wanted it to look really good. As for now, that is my Cruel Boys army finished. There are at least two or three different models that I'd like to add to the army eventually, but I'm not sure when that day is going to come. But if you like this video, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.